Hey, how are you? It's good to see you. Not really. I don't see you. I guess I'm just talking at you. But how are you? The storm. That would have been crazy. It totally missed Houston, Texas. We were really re worried and, and very prepared. I had, did you prepare? Did you go and get uh, flashlight batteries and flashlights and food and ice? And did you get uh, your things out of the window and get ready? Uh, let's see, most of you five, so you would have been alive maybe in 2000 and uh, when was it, 17? When we had the Harvey, which was just a lot of water. Uh, my daughter is 14 and so Hurricane Ike, she was one and my son was f uh, five uh, during that. And I remember during that storm, it was really, really windy, and I sat in her room, my daughter's room, and I held her. Uh, she slept. I just stayed up listening to the wind holding my daughter. Storms are kind of scary because, you know, they're just, you can't, all you can do is get out of their way or hunker down. Here comes one, right? Isn't it interesting how, don't you think, um, that here at this church, we talk about God in a way that's like God holds us. I'm a big person. I'm 6'4", I'm pretty, pretty tall. Um, I weigh a little bit more than I think I should, but yeah. But uh, I often feel like God holds me in scary places. When I'm really frightened, I, I felt God hold me when I was really, really scared. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I've seen a lot of the world, but there are times I get scared, and I believe that God holds me, and he holds you, and we're going to be okay. Storms are going to come and go, you know, but God holds us every time, every time. Just like I held my daughter, just like maybe your parents held you, just like I was held by my mom, like she was held by her mom on down the line, her dad. God is good. I believe that, and I'm glad to tell that to you. So, okay, let's have a prayer. And then off to chapel you go. Dear God, thank you so much for being with us in both the sunshine and in the rain, in the storms and in the calm. Always hold us when we're scared. Keep us mindful that you are with us. We are so thankful for you. Amen. Okay, off to chapel you go. Bye. everyone. Welcome back to Children's Chapel. I hope everyone stayed safe and dry this past week in the big storm. To start off, we're going to sing our first song, which is Jesus Loves Me. Let's go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Yes, Jesus 
loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thanks for joining me in singing that song. Now it's time to read our story. Today's story is about a man named Joseph and his coat of many colors. Let's listen. Story of Joseph. Jacob lived in the land of Canaan. He had 12 sons. Joseph was one of his sons. Jacob loved Joseph more than Why? any of his other children. Why? Yeah, that's Joseph. Why? Why? Let me, um, one day, Jacob gave Joseph a new coat. It was a beautiful coat. It had many colors. Is that like all the colors of the rainbow? But it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wished they could have a new coat too. They were angry. Joseph also had a special dream. He told his brothers about it. We were gathering grain in my dream. My grain stood up. Your grain bowed down to mine. What do you think that means? They are going to be flowers. Probably. Joseph had another dream. He said the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowed down to me. His brothers did not like his dreams. They were jealous. You were right. They wanted to get rid of Joseph, so they sold him to some traders who were traveling to faraway lands. The traders took Joseph far, far away to Egypt, but God was still watching over Joseph. That's good. That is good. There you go, the story of Joseph. Thank you so much for that reading. How awesome to have such a colorful coat. And how wonderful to be nice to our siblings, even sometimes when they're mean to us. Now, it's time to move on to our Children's Chapel Creed. Please join me in saying, I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in His Spirit too. Comes to tell me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and good, dear Lord, like Thee. Amen. Thank you for saying the Children's Chapel Creed with me. Now we're going to move on to our pals and our wows. Remember, a pow is something sad or something we're worried about in our lives that we want to pray about. And a wow is something good or something happy or exciting that we want to pray about. I want you to take this time to pause me and then tell your mom, your dad, or your guardian about your pals or your wows for this past week. So while you tell your mom and dad, I'll just wait here. Oh, oh, are you done? Are you ready? I'm so sorry, I was just petting my puppy, Missy. Now that you've unpaused me or just continued moving on forward in the video, let's say a prayer for all of our pals and our wows. Before we pray, let's remember to fold our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for this new day with its beautiful sunshine. Thank you for protecting us in such a crazy time. Thank you so much for everything you've given us. I pray that you will hear all the pals and the wows said by all the children. God, will may you continue to protect us and guide us and keep our hearts and our minds focused on you. In your name we pray. Amen. Now that we have sang our first song, read our Bible story, done the Children's Chapel Creed, prayed for our pals and our wows, it's time to do our last and final thing, which is sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. 
This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Great job singing that song. Let's do another virtual high five. Ready? Hand in the air. On the count of three, we're going to high five the screen. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! That's a powerful high five you all have together at once. Thanks for joining us again this week for Virtual Children's Chapel. I am so happy that everyone stayed dry and safe this past week, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week for Children's Chapel. Bye, guys. Welcome back. How was that? Did you have fun in chapel? Good, good. I think Alex does a great job. I think he's one of the best at that. It's really kind of fun to watch him do it. I'm kind of jealous I don't get to go with you. Oh, I guess I can sometimes. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, okay. Well, school's kind of started. You got lots going on. Pay attention. Uh, give your parents a break. Take your nap. Do all the things you're supposed to do. Uh, we'll get through this together, and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>